NBA Youngboy's recent diss record has been number one trending on YouTube. He's got the whole internet talking about him right now. Oh God! What? Listen! No! It's got to be the craziest shit I ever reacted to. In the song Bring the Hook, he dissed King Von and Oblock. Since the passing of King Von, NBA Youngboy and Dirk haven't been cool for obvious reasons. But after a DJ Academics tweet, Inali Choppa was thrown into the mix. To make it clear, Inali Choppa and King Von were good friends, so of course he stood up for Von. But the beef between Inali Choppa and Youngboy goes back to pretty much the start of Choppa's career, right after the release of Shot of Flow in 2019. <laughs> From its release, fans were already comparing the two artists. They were both young rappers with mega clout, getting thousands of new followers a day. And for some reason, fans felt like they had to choose a side from the start. The tension was already building. I feel like you trying to beef with young boy. Cuz, when have I ever said I'm trying to beef with young boy? Let me know. Young boy, my favorite rapper. I'm trying to beef with young boy, he my favorite rapper. In basically every interview Inali Choppa had since his success, he was always asked one question. I know you see everybody comparing you to NBA Youngboy. What you think about that? I don't know why they compare me to him. I don't sound like him. They say I look like him. They call me the light skin Youngboy and shit. It's cool though. At first he seemed to be okay with it, even paying respect to Youngboy. He said there was never any problems between them. But over the next few months, things would slowly start to change. You could tell over time the comparison started to get to the both of them. On top of it, fans instigated this by choosing sides. But in March of 2019, Inali Choppa dropped his song, Gangsta Talk, with Fredo Bang. In the song, Inali said he's hotter than herpes, a clear diss to the rumors that Youngboy had an STD. Anyone who's a fan of Youngboy knows Fredo Bang is one of his biggest ops too. And if you work with Youngboy's ops, he's made it clear he won't work with you either. This was the first sign that things weren't okay between the two. Inali finally had enough of the comparisons and responded to a comment on his Instagram with this message saying if anything, Youngboy was trying to be like him. Right after this, Inali Choppa was on Instagram Live when Youngboy's name was brought up. He and his group then made some comments about Youngboy. Youngboy ended up responding, but he didn't seem to be too bothered, just disrespected. I ain't tripping up the killing boy, you hear me? He's just a disrespectful part with the name color. Things would go quiet after this, and there didn't seem to be any problems. However, around June, Inali Choppa and Quano Rondo, who was Youngboy's artist, would also get into a fight at the club. Allegedly, Quano took a bottle of Hennessy and broke it over one of Inali Choppa's friends. It's unclear if Quano and Choppa's beef had anything to do with Youngboy, but fans assumed it did. They even found out that Choppa had been dating Youngboy's ex-girlfriend. From this point forward, it was clear Youngboy and Inali were never going to be friends. Despite the tension though, they deny that there was any beef involved. We are getting word that Atlanta police arrested another rapper here in Atlanta. Well, this time it was NBA Youngboy. His real name is Kentro Gauden. In the middle of 2019, Youngboy would end up behind bars again. Choppa then released a song titled Free Youngboy. At first, some people thought it was a troll, but over time, it came to light that Inali was just trying to show love. This even sparked rumors that Choppa had signed and never broke again. But when asked in an interview about the situation, Inali said he didn't know Youngboy like that, and he's not signed to him either. What What is the status with you and Youngboy? Because I saw that, obviously, you put out a record when he was locked up. It was back in October or some shit that you would, like, sign to, like, you, you would... I don't know. I had this shit got confused. So it was, it was some confusion. Yeah. You and Youngboy cool though? I, I don't just talk to him. I don't, I don't know. From this point on, the so-called beef seemed to be laid to rest. We go battle for battle. On January 12, 2022, Youngboy released his single, Bring the Hook, off his tape. During the song, he took shots at King Von and others. DJ Academics then took to Twitter and posted this tweet. Lil Reese and Inali then responded to this in Von's defense. When asked in a recent interview why Inali decided to involve himself, he simply said he didn't like how Youngboy was glorifying Vaughn's death. Like, and when you speak on certain situations that you really don't have nothing to do with, or you didn't, you wasn't in that position, and somebody lost their life because, you know what I'm saying, somebody was trying to put a gun down. Youngboy wasted no time in releasing a second song, No Like I Know, where he clearly targets Choppa in the lyrics. 
And although they're going back and forth over a whole new situation, it seems like the tension from 2019 never really went away, and now it's coming out in the music. Inoli Chapa then went back and briefly changed his Free Young Boy song to this, but for whatever reason, he quickly changed it back again. It's unclear where this situation will lead from here, but it doesn't look like Youngboy or Inali Chopper are gonna back down from anything they've said. Hopefully, this beef doesn't spill into the streets as well. Mm -hmm.